Hey guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about Elements. So Elements just recently released this video titled NPC and Quest Testing. So the description states, quick video testing out NPC interactions and dialogue responses. Most NPCs like vendors or blacksmiths will also have quests. Some of the UI is still a work in progress as well as the voice is a placeholder. So that threw me off for a loop. I didn't realize there's actually voice acting in this. Like I must have missed that somewhere, but that just got me super excited. Also guys, from last the last video I did for Elements, I just wanted to remind you guys the alpha date is still March 21st. I haven't heard any delays or any changes. So we're about a month. We're almost a month away. So I'm definitely excited, you know, to get my hands on the alpha. I still don't know if I can actually like play it and show you guys my experiences. But once I find out, I'll let you guys know. So before I actually start the video, I know it's really, really hard to see. Even if I zoom in on, on screen here, you guys are probably not going to see it. But I see a little debugger menu, like watermark in the right hand corner. And then I also noticed on top of the squirrel's head, this one says friendly AI. So a little interesting just to see a little bit of behind the scenes. But yeah, let's actually watch this uh, clip real quick. Hello. What does anything interest you? So it looks like we have some uh, vendor stuff here. How much money do we actually have? It looks like we have like a thousand whatever these jewels are here looks like we got some beer some bread some potions like this one right here is small stanma potion consumable so it says drink to restore small amounts of stam over time okay anything else I love the name Fizzle that spell bind bender or binder. <laughs> oh, that name's hilarious. Oh, I could twist that so bad, but that's I mean it kind of fits. It's a squirrel. Try to get him a fancy name there. But yeah, I see the dialogue. It's like, what are you selling? What are you doing here? I was told to bring you this. I'm assuming this is the quest part. So let's uh finish this up. I could ask you the same question. Where did you come from? Anything else? I can help this sick creature, but I need a few things. Bring oh, it's a fetch quest. So we got to, looks like we got to bring them three moon fire flowers. They're deep in the mushroom forest. Bring me three moon fire flowers. They're deep in the mushroom forest. You look well brave. I'm sure you can handle it. Anything else? Goodbye. So yeah, uh, it, obviously it's a short, you know, short little clip here, you know, kind of like a little teaser. But yeah, I was like the whole voice acting still got me off guard because honestly, I was not expecting voice acting, to be honest. Like, even the Pokemon company doesn't even use voice acting. So, and I know voice acting isn't always the cheapest thing. But, honestly, the voice sounded just fine to me. Like, I don't know how much more improvements. But, I'm not a voice actor. So, maybe I did miss up. But, I love I love how we're actually seeing a little bit more of this game. Like, like, we, like this is an item shop. And he's like, oh, hey, I got a quest for you. Go get this for me, and I'll do this for you. I really like the idea, and I like the aesthetics. Like you can see little, little items in the background. I know that they have their own little secret like language, which I believe there's a dice like there's a cipher tool somewhere. I think it's in the Discord. I could be wrong. It's been a, it's been a hot minute since I've seen seen this writing, but yeah. I'm really excited about this game. I definitely, you know, 
I cannot wait for March 21st. But other than that, guys, let me know down below how you guys feel about this game. But other than that, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.